We're down here on the beautiful morning to Peninsula on a site uh, that Greenwood Solutions is involved in. We're actually uh, supplying and installing a two megawatt hour battery on one NMI and on a second NMI we're putting a slightly smaller battery. Basically there's two separate systems because there's two NMIs. Now the first system is composed of 12 100 kVA inverters that are coupled to a two megawatt hour battery. And the second system, you're looking at 200 kVA of inverters coupled to a 450 approximately kilowatt hour battery bank on the second NMI. Now, both NMIs are fed by a 2000 kVA pad mount transformer. There's a cubicle on site and it all falls under the United Energy Distribution Network Service Provider Mantle. Most of Greenwood Solutions projects involve a certain PV component, but this is not the case on this particular project. But in this case, the batteries are the stars of the show. There's no PV at all. Now, the reason for that is twofold. One, there wasn't enough roof or ground real estate. And two, the battery's role is a little bit different from the normal role of a battery. So what are we talking about? What we're actually talking about is FCAS. So at the end of the day, what these batteries actually do is stabilise the grid. Now each of the best units have their own HVAC system. So that means not only do they actually cool when required, but they also heat. All batteries operate, they have an ideal temperature, like human beings ideally like 23 degrees, and that's effectively what most batteries like, including the, the various lithium solutions. The actual chemistry used in these batteries is lithium ion phosphate, and they are the safest of all the battery chemistries. Now, one of the interesting things about this project is the mix of electrical work compared to civil work and the various costs associated with that. There's a lot of civil work on, on this site. There's two gigantic slabs. There's a slab for the cubicle. There's acoustic walls that have to be constructed. So the electrical component, from a cabling perspective, is a lot less than, say, compared to the civil works than say a roof mount system where there's hardly any civil works at all and even a ground mount system where the civil works will involve trenching and various other um, excavation. And as you can see behind me at the moment, they're positioning one of the cabinets. So we're talking about a, a lot of labor and of course, the contribution of the crane is immense. On the slab you see the bolts are already preset and these are positioned so we can actually slide the best units and the inverters into position and lock them down. In a lot of cases when it comes to getting these units into position there's a bit of finessing involved and fine tuning. Everything has to line up really really straight and that from a functional perspective and also from an aesthetic perspective. Now you may notice on the slab that we have a lot of conduit of varying sizes and that's because of all the cabling involved both from an AC and a DC perspective. So effectively from the, the two MVA transformer We've got five by single core, 500 mil XLP 90 degree cable. Now from the cubicle to the best distribution board, we've got four by single core, 630 mil XLPE. But this time we've gone to a higher rating of 110 degrees. 
Now what that means is that the cable it can be physically smaller for the same current carrying capacity. And because the cables are going through conduit, you really have to take into consideration their physical characteristics and the fact that they have to be drawn through the conduit. So we were really limited to what size of cable we could have used. Now we could have used XLPE 90 degrees, but then we may have had to have paralleled six single core, six, 630 mil cables instead of using the four by single core 630 mil. Because a 110 degree rated cable is physically smaller than a 90 degree, and it all comes down to the quality or the kind of insulation that's used and its ability to dissipate heat. In the preparation for this project, there was cable reports that were, that were done that outline what the cable was used, where it's used, and how it's actually installed. And each of those particular stipulations for the cable have to be ticked off. In other words, they have to be passed. There's a lot of riding on this project. There's a lot of money involved in these batteries. So everything has to be exactly right. Love this project. Um, would have been great if there was some solar, but solar wasn't part of the project brief, but maybe next time. And there has been talk of the roof that we're putting on to cover this area. We might even put some solar on that, but stay tuned.